six to four favourite for the Brownlow in 87 was John Platten. But first, he had to survive a day with Lou. The moment I saw Johnny Platten's twinkle toes weave their magic through the packs for Hawthorne, I was hit with a thunderbolt. The long flowing locks, the nimble feet, and the voice looks convinced me. By the window, by the window, that is where I'll be come tiptoe through the tulips with me. Tiny tip, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, fantastic. We found the VFL's answer to Tiny Tim, the shrill songster of the 60s, strutting his stuff at the Sylvan Tulip Farm. Where else? He might look like Tiny Tim, but the similarity ends there. Platten is the hottest property in the VFL this season. He has every chance of playing in back-to-back -back premierships with Hawthorne. He scooped up tens of thousands of dollars worth of media awards and is raging red-hot favourite to take out the Charles Brownlow medal in this, his second year with the Hawks. Platts, Tiny Tim, or as his teammates at Glenferry call him, Simply the Rat, is one hell of a bloke. The type of guy who'd give up his day off for a jaunt through the tulips for a gag. Or wander through the bush for a bit of a chat on the eve of a final. And now there's a bit more pressure on you on, on, on the sad days and at training, so it's great to just to get out and, uh, and, and just relax. The old Australian rover hopes to emulate this bloke. Norse mighty Malcolm Blight by becoming the second player to win the McGarry Brownlow double. Ladies and gentlemen, we have dual Brownlow medal winners. For the second year running. Once again, a time, ladies and gentlemen, John Clayton and Tony Lockett. Joint winners. For the fifth year in a